Hi, I'm Bianca Liebenberg. I'm a project engineer at S1 Integration. This is a semi-automatic station. It's got two stages. The first is either manual or automated assembly, and it's also got a vision or checking station. Okay, so there are three tooling sets that are loaded into the station. The first tooling set needs to be automatically assembled. The other two tooling sets are manually assembled. So the operator will get instruction as to what part is getting built from the IMM side. As soon as they know, they do a recipe selection to select which tooling set needs to be built. Um, when they know which tooling set needs to be built, they need to do a tool change. There are drawers at the bottom of the station that have the tooling sets that are stored. Um, as soon as they know which one it is, they need to take the tooling set out and physically load it into the station. There are hotting plugs as well that need to be connected up, one for electrical and one for mechanical, um, which has got your pneumatics on there. Um, as soon as they've loaded the tooling set, they're ready to start the process. If they need to run the manual um, assemblies on the two tooling sets, they need to first load the parts into the tooling set they close all the clamps that are on, on there manually and then they start fitting the clips and harnesses or any parts that need to be fitted onto that plastic injection molded part. When that is complete, they stand clear from the station, they press the two-hand control and the cameras do the vision. The cameras check for the clips to see that the clips are actually in place on the parts. If the clips are in place, then the clamps will automatically open up. On the other side, if it's an automated um, process that needs to be run, um, that tooling set also gets loaded, the same as the manual ones. The hotting plugs get connected for electrical and pneumatic, and the operator will need to stand out of the station before the clips are loaded, because obviously that will happen automatically. There's a start button that needs to be pressed. The robot will then start the process by fetching clips from the bull feeder. Um, the bull feeder gets clips fed from a hopper, um, the hopper feeds it to the bowl feeder. Bowl feeder's got a linear guide that then feeds it into two lanes. The robot fetches from these two lanes. As soon as the fingertips of the robot are filled with clips, it goes through the parts, the plastic parts, and starts fitting the clips there. As soon as that is complete, the robot moves to its home position. The cameras automatically check the clips and make sure that the clips are in place. If the vision on this station then passes, it automatically opens up the clamps and then the process is complete.